Good day, my grade 7 students. I am your teacher for today, Mamorona and Cruz, and welcome to our science class. We are now on our module 2 of our quarter 1, which is entitled, Elements are like spices. When mixed together, they become better. So our module 2 has three lessons. But for today, we will be discussing about lesson number 1, which is um, about elements and compounds so we will skip this part of this module and proceed with what i need to know ano nga ba ang dapat natin malaman so let's start with matter so lahat po na nakikita natin sa paligid natin ay na consider natin na matter alam ko no elementary na discuss na po or na define ang matter. So we all know that matter is anything that occupies space and has mass and volume. It is a chemical substance that can transform into another state. A chemical substance is a matter that has a definite composition and the same composition throughout. Ano po ba ang dapat nating matutunan sa module na ito? So we will be finding out that substances may be further classified into two. Dalawang groups na hati ang substances, elements, and compounds. We will also understand how elements are distinguished from compounds based on a set of properties. And you will also be able to recognize the presence of these elements in different food labels as minerals. So we have three objectives for our lesson for today. Number one, describe the characteristics of an element and compound. Two, distinguish elements from compounds based on a set of properties. And then three, classify substances as either element or compound. So for the what I know part, this is the first activity that you're going to do for today. So you're going to answer the 15 questions on your module. So kindly get your one whole sheet of paper, write down your name, your grade and section, the subject, the module number, and the date today. So write down what I know. And then number from 1 to 15. So for numbers 1 to 10, you're going to write down the letter of your answer. And then for 11 to 15, you will just write down the word element if the given example shows characteristic of an element. And you're going to write the word compound if it shows characteristics of a compound. You can pause the video if you want to answer first or accomplish first the what I know. So, I will proceed. So, let's move on with lesson 1, characteristics of elements and compounds. So, for the what's in, so we're going to read the poem here, which is entitled, The Lost Element by J.P. Cadalem Balera. And then, you're going to answer the question here. What are the elements and compounds stated in the poem? So, I have highlighted the elements and compounds stated in the poem. You will just identify what are the elements and what are the compounds. So for the activity number two, write down the word what's in and then make a table with two columns. Write down the word element on the first column and the compounds on the second column. Then based on the highlighted words, identify which are the elements and which are the Compounds. Okay, let's proceed with the what's new. So in the previous activity, we identify different compounds and in a set of compounds are composed of elements. So can you identify the elements found in the given set of compounds below? So write the elements in the boxes below. So this is our third activity. Copy the six boxes. On the first box, we have the carbon dioxide. So can you identify what are the two elements? For carbon dioxide. Then, the second box is potassium nitrate. Then, write on the boxes what are the two elements for this compound. Okay, moving on. So, we're now on our fourth um, activity. So, here, kindly read our paragraph. So, this shows the discussion or the difference, the differences between elements and compounds in terms of their properties and examples. So what you will do here for our fourth activity on what is it, 
we're going to draw again another table with two columns. On the first column, elements. On the second column, compounds. So we're going to enumerate at least three. Three elements and three compounds. You can use your modern periodic table for you to give examples. Okay. So let's move on with the fifth activity, which is the what's more. So using the Venn diagram, you're going to describe the characteristic of elements and compounds. So write down the characteristics here of the elements and write down the characteristic of compounds here. So you can read back the portion of the what is it for you to answer what's more. Okay. Now, let's proceed to the sixth activity, which is the what I have learned. So here, you're going to complete the paragraph with the words written on the boxes. So you're going to number from 1 to 12 for the what I have learned part. Okay, for the seventh activity, what I can do. So you're going to look and bring any food product label. Place your chosen food product label in the box. Let us say, for example, uh, the food label of a junk food. So you're going to cut those parts, the part which shows the nutritional facts and the ingredients. Then paste it on your paper. And then look on the ingredients. Write down what are the substances classified as elements and compounds. And then once you already identified the compounds, you're going to choose three and determine what are the elements composing the, uh, the compounds that you have written down. So that is for the what I can do. Okay, moving on with the eighth activity, which is the assessment. So this is a post test. Let us determine what have you learned from our lesson. So you're going to answer numbers 1 to 15. So for numbers 1 to 12, you will, you will just choose from the letters A, B, C, or D. And then from 13 to 15, you will just identify if the given is an element or compound. Okay. For our last activity for today, so you will just segregate the following words or properties as to element and compound. So write the word additional activities. And then again, two boxes with labels element and compound. Then, classify the words on their proper boxes. Okay. If you have any question regarding the first lesson, just about elements of and compounds, you can give me a message on Facebook or in our group chat in Messenger. Okay, that's all for today, class. Good luck and God bless. Goodbye. See you on our next class.